We have made it back home. Carmen's just getting the pickles unpacked. She's gonna pick the jar that she wants. We're gonna find that right pickle, and then we're gonna show you how Carmen likes it prepared. Guys, welcome back. Today we're getting a little bit of a late start of the vlog because I had to go to work. Uh, I've got a plumber showing up on Monday and I wasn't quite ready so I had to work a Saturday, which I hate, but I got it done. Uh, I had to work till like 5, 5.30 right there. Got home, got cleaned up. Uh, Terry was just kind of busy doing some other things today so we're getting a little bit of a late start. Uh, I did make a promise to a little eight-year-old girl this morning that I would get her pickles. And so she reminded me, hey dad, did you get any pickles today? And I was like, no, crap. So tonight, okay. right now, we are going to get pickles. Yep. What is the best kind of pickle? Um, the dill pickles. Kosher dills, right? Yeah. Kosher dills, what brand do you like the most? I like the... Are we talking, are we talking the koshers or are we talking Velasix? I don't know. I'm just, I think they're koshers. I think I just, you love the koshers. I just like the duck ones. The duck ones. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's go find some duck pickles. Yeah. They have ducks on the like. They do. Thing. Yeah. Maybe those are. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe those are Velasic. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go find out. It's all covered in snow out here, though. It's kind of icy too. The car has got to warm up for just a few minutes, so Carmen is showing us her mini fidget spinner. Where did you get it at? I got it at school. Yeah? Were they just like giving them out? Um, no. So, I did this report thing on a monarch butterfly, and um, it was one of the best ones. Really? So you got a prize? Yeah. Wow. Does it say anything on it, or is it just blue? It's just blue. That's cool. All right, I think the car is finally warmed up. Actually, I can't see. There's so much ice on the windshield. The car's not warmed up. We're gonna let the car warm up for another 15 minutes or so and get this ice off here. We might even have to find the scraper. So the ice was like a quarter inch thick. I had to get out and scrape it. We would have waited here all night for that thing to melt. So, Garm? It was scary. It was scary? Yeah, I was trying to turn on my watch. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, shh, <laughs> that's exactly what it sounded like. No, it was really loud and it was scary. I'm sorry, but I was working outside today, uh, trying to put up some sheets of plywood on an addition that we were doing, and it didn't look like snow when I started. But about halfway through the project, snow started coming down. It was a driving snow. My hands were freezing. I had to find some gloves really quick, and uh, had to get up like two sheets of plywood to get like the house closed off. So. It was kind of crazy. It was intense there for a minute, but I uh, got it on and uh, now I'm working inside again. So Monday I'll be back uh, doing some other things, but we're gonna head to the store and find those pickles. Now let's go, you little pickle lover. <laughs> got a stress ball that I made at my friend's house today. Really? Yeah. What'd you put inside of it? Flour. Fla those are the best ones. I got a lot of flour. All right, get a small cart. Alright, here we go. I think the pickles are down this aisle. Pickles! I know that because we were here one night and this little boy knocked over some of these giant jars of pickles and they went everywhere. Kayla, let's just get some. We should get two jars. Because we always run out. Two? I'm thinking we get three jars. Okay. Because I'm not coming back for pickles for a while. You don't want to come back for a while. We probably need four. Fair enough. Four pickles. How long do you think that'll last you? Like a week? Yeah. A week? I mean, I do have like four pickles a day. You do? <laughs> I mean, I used to. Now it's only like three. Like three? Uh, so that might last us two weeks. All right, turn left. I think carrots are gonna be refrigerated. Yeah, I know, but listen. Yeah. They're usually, oh, 
kiwis are good. Baby kiwis. Yeah, and then we could get some coconuts. These are the juice and food ones. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can drink them and eat them. Yeah. Yeah, we learned that in Hawaii. Yep. Ooh, these are horned melons. They ain't good. Dragon fruit. No, they're horned melons. We looked them up. All right, let's grab some bananas, though. Okay. Just right here. Bananas? Yeah. Let's get some green ones. Maybe we'll have to buy. Wait, no, wait, look. Dad, if you want green. Well, no, no, like a little bit. A little bit green. <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah, little, Not super green like those. Those are perfect. Okay. There's a few uh, noses for Olaf down there. Yeah. And baby carrot. We caught us cheese hunting. Okay. All right, grab some. The, uh, the metal gold, right? Yeah. How many? Just one. Okay. <laughs> you almost dropped them. That would have been bad. We have made it back home. Carmen's just getting the pickles unpacked. She is going to pick the jar that she wants. We're going to find that right pickle, and then we're going to show you how Carmen likes it prepared. All right, let's see which jar we which jar are we opening first. Um. This feels like it's taken a very long time. There it is. That's not it. Eeny, what in the mini, world? Got to take a better time. If we hard start to go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Not it. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Got to take a better time. If we hard start to go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I guess this one. Nine hours later, SpongeBob <laughs> comment right there. All right, so here we go. Carmen, if you want to, if you want a pickle, you need. You got to open the want, jar. If you. If you want to do a carbon recipe, you need paper towel, a pickle, a fork, and a knife. Okay. And a plate to cut your pickle on. And then, what else you need is that to open the jar. Alright, let's see if I'm strong enough. You're strong enough. <laughs> yeah, these are on there tight. Okay. I mean, real tight. Maybe if you help me, we can twist this off. No, not the fork. You just put your hand on top of mine. We could use the force right now, Carm. <laughs> Baby Yoda force. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> that looks like a good pickle right on top. Then you take your fork. Stab your pickle. Stab it. Violently stab your pickle. And then you take your pickle. Put it on your pickle. Take your knife. Very carefully. Cut your the ends off. Give those to dad. No dad one likes the, no one likes the end except for dad. Mm. Still good okay. pickle. I mean, that's a lot of good pickle right there. Dad. Arm. Now you wrap your paper towel around the fork, and if, for me, if that is not done to my pickle, I will not eat a pickle. <laughs> Why do you wrap a napkin on your fork? So if the pickle drips and it lays on the paper towel and it doesn't drip all over the house. That's perfect. That's right. Smart. That's how she eats her pickles. So pickles are one of Carmen's very favorite snacks. What are your guys' favorite snacks? We wanna know what you guys cannot live without. Comment below and tell us. What's your other favorite snack besides pickles? Got pickle in my mouth. <laughs> Funny story about Carmen. One time when she was kindergarten age, I think, maybe first grade, she brings home this little poster that's all about me and it says, what's your favorite food? And <laughs> we still laugh about it because it's so funny and so random. What did you tell us to write on the poster? Pickles. And? Boiled eggs. <laughs> Pickles and boiled eggs. That's what, it sh what she put on the poster as her favorite foods. Super random for a little kindergartner <laughs> to put that on her poster. Mostly it's like pizza or something like that, but not Carmen. I just, I like the three main things I like are pickles, boiled eggs, and olives. Yep. Everything circular except for pickles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she eats the most of. 
That's enough about snacks for right now. We're gonna see what Austin's up to. He's been tying a ton of flies and he's running out of hooks. He's gonna go out with his buddy tonight to go to Cabell's to try to find some more. Aussie, show us what you've been tying, bud. I'm tying. I'm tying, except those two, and then those, tie those. So, a bunch of elk hair caddises. I know that Austin has been texting my dad a bunch. My dad's been giving him some tips. Austin's been watching a bunch of videos. He's turned his room into a tie flying station. There's a caddis with a little bit of hack about the front. Um, I don't know what you call this one, but I tied this one last night. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool little dry fly. Dude, that looks great. And those are my first three nymphs. They suck, but it's okay. It's all right. Getting better at it. What do you need to pick up a Cabela's? Black thread. Um, on the hooks and probably just some more. Well, I'll show you. Look, see that little like color green color? They call that flash. I need some oh, of yeah. that. Yeah. And that's basically it. Just hooks and hooks and flashing. Yeah. Sounds good, dude. You got a ton of bugs. We're ready for the summer. Just give yourself one. Guys, we are wrapping things up tonight. The pickle princess has got to get to bed. <laughs> She said, don't bring up pickles. Which means I had to bring up pickles, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, guys, let us uh, know what your favorite snack is once again. We wanna know, Carmen wants to know. She wants to know if you guys like anything weird, like her. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for watching. We love you, and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Peace.